way, how have I got people watching this already? I do not understand YouTube Live because I've just been trying to figure out how to share this um, ahead of me actually posting and I've tried two other times to start this. I didn't really understand what I was doing. Um, and now I have nine viewers. I don't know what's going on. Can I get my, the comments? Show live chat messages. How does it work? None. Oh, show chat. Oh, there it is, there it is. Hi Mel. Okay, excellent. Right, this is so much better than the last time I tried this. I am on my new iPad, which I'm super excited about anyway. And I decided when it arrived that I would um, start doing more live YouTube because I think the camera, the front facing camera, I know the back facing camera is amazing, but I'm not about to start messing about with that. I think the front facing camera on this is a lot better than it is on my phone or on my MacBook. So fingers crossed, I will be able to do more live YouTube because I definitely feel like that is the way that everything is going. Everyone wants things instantly. Insta stories and just Instagram in general is doing so much better than everything else that I'm using um, social media wise and I feel like this is just people want right now live interaction so I want to do more let me just get this massive pillow uh, I want to do more um, live stuff and hopefully this will help me to do that so hi hello 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 to everybody that is joining me I'm gonna do a live favourites also my hair I did my hair yesterday if you follow my Instagram you may have seen um, on my Instagram stories that I um, bit the bullet and actually used a uh, semi-permanent colour on my hair yesterday. So I've been thinking about doing it for ages. The main reason that I wanted to do it, because I really like the, the natural colour of my hair. So I wanted to grow it out and, um, <laughs> shocker, I mean two years ago if you told me that I would really like the natural colour of my hair, I would have absolutely like fallen over. Uh, in uh, in shock and not believing you at all, but I really really do like the natural colour of my hair that's been growing out. But I'm not going to grow it all the way out. I'm I was definitely going to do something to the ends because um, they were kind of getting a little bit brassy. I liked the slightly summer ombre kind of style that it was, um, but I just wanted to do something because it was driving me a little bit crazy, and it's been such a long time since uh, I've had anything different, but I still didn't want to do anything permanent. So this is the castings light brown, would you believe, because it's really quite dark. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. I have already washed it and I think it's faded a little bit. I didn't want to go for anything warm or that looked like mahogany or chocolate because I thought we'd have red tones in it. And as it faded, I thought I'd be left with kind of weird orangey or an odd red fade towards the end, which I didn't want, which is why I went for something a little bit more neutral in the light brown. So we'll see what it looks like, but yeah, that's why I dyed my hair and I'm really enjoying it. I just think it looks more polished when it's all one color. So, um, this first product, this is the Nectar Perfector by Be Good and it's the beautifying mask. One of the more expensive products that I'm gonna talk about today, it is on the pricey side, I forget how much, I wanna say 30 or 40 pounds, but you get a really decent amount of product in here, not as much as you would think from the outside of the jar, less, because obviously it's got a big hollow wall around there. But it's a real thick, balmy product. We're gonna have a problem with the focus, aren't we? Let's see if I can actually get that to focus on what's inside and not be like super, super overexposed. Nah, okay. So just like, you know, there we go. Um, <laughs> that's what it looks like inside. It's a really thick balm. I have been using this either in lieu of a cleansing balm or after I've cleansed, I use it as a, a mask and I'll leave it on for the duration of my bath and then I take it off with a hot cloth just the same as I would a cleansing balm. Um, it just, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I need to stretch out my leg. Um, yeah, this has been a super, super nourishing and yet non-breaking out kind of product for me because I do have oily and spot prone skin. I do have skin that breaks out all over the place. Recently, I mean, I did wax my top lip because I noticed in the bathroom at work the other day I looked at the mirror and was like oh my god this is horrifying full moustache swear to god I had a full moustache um which I know that I suffer with facial hair but it's not really ever been a big deal the moustache area random dark hairs around here but not like a moustache it's really really frustrating so um I went home waxed it and then obviously several pimply things came up like the next day um, but then I got like a spot down here, nowhere near where the wax had been, no hair removal, very annoying. My t-shirt is from ASOS Tracy and I, it arrived today so it, this is still on um, online. Yeah so this 
has been really, really great for, I suppose, to exfoliate and it does make my skin feel smooth, but I don't know how it does that because it is a balmy type thing. Um, but it is supposed to have exfoliating properties, probably the acids or something. Um, but what I'm trying to say is my skin still does break out and this very, very heavy and what you would think was completely inappropriate um, mask has been amazing for my skin. I really, really like it. And I've been using such a small amount of it that I could justify the cost. Um, I, that's still going to last me quite a while, even with the little bit I've got left. Uh, next, it's not a new favourite, but it's a rediscovered one. I didn't use this for a really long time. It's my favourite scent in Soap and Glory, the original pink, whatever it's called. Ugh. And whenever you use it, your bedroom smells a bit like days. Um, but I've rediscovered it recently because my skin has been really dry. After our holiday, I had various areas of sunburn and just kind of dryness where I'd been in the sun too much. And so I've been using moisturizers and lotions a little bit more often. I'm just looking for something a little bit heavier. This is so good. And when your skin is a little bit drier, um, whether it be because of the sun or in the winter time, kind of extremes, um, when it is a little bit dry, it just absorbs so quickly and it smells so nice. So I've been completely back in love with this recently. I had to mention it, although I know you all know about it. It's an old favorite, I know. Um, a newer thing, and this is just a mini, this is a travel size that I received, I think it was a gift with purchase from Clinique, and this is the Pepstar Hydro Blur Moisturiser. Hopefully I'll be able to show you the texture of this one. It's really weird. It's like something between a moisturiser, something between like a gel and um, a pore primer. Well, do we think the camera is okay? I think the camera is alright on this iPad. Um, so it looks like this, and it's got like a weird texture to it so it is a moisturizer it's not a primer I'm not really a primer person I don't like the feel of a primer there are very few ones that I've thought have really made a difference um, and even less that I've thought I want to use every day occasionally I will use one and I think wow this really does make a difference but I still don't want to use it every day this absorbs this feels like it it feels like a moisturizer it has absorbed into my skin but it still has that kind of perfecting and mattifying that I really like from the professional and stuff like that. So really, really been enjoying that as and when I want to use something underneath my makeup, which is not very often, but still. Something, or two things, because I'll, I'll put these in together because I got these on holiday and these were in my most recent videos. Um, yes, Tracy, is it only you that I'm talking to, I feel like, but yes, making sense, Tracy. I think this doesn't look like too bad of a, a camera so fingers crossed because I do want to do this more often and this would make it so much easier um the hourglass ambient lighting powder in dim light this is the mini one I don't know if we can get these anywhere in the UK I will look I can't really I don't know if I can add to the description at a later date maybe I can or a later time but obviously I can't do it right now because it's live um I uh, I will try in fact I'll do a blog post on some of the things that I'm mentioning here and I'll see if I can find some miniatures of these things because it's so expensive. The ambient lighting powder from um, Hourglass is so expensive in the 40s and this I think I got for about 25 pounds uh, or 25 dollars sorry in Sephora and I just love it so much. I know when I first got on and I was trying to take some thumbnails for this video which is hilarious by the way. Um, trying to take a thumbnail for a live video is like the most awkward. It gives you a tiny amount of time. Um, but I know I feel like I could look a little bit too glowy here because I have pretty much put it everywhere. And especially here where I get oily, it might have been a little bit too much. But I'm obsessed. I just, it does give you that kind of glow. I don't look shimmery or anything. I just placed an order with Colourpop. Super excited about it. And I ordered a highlight called Lunch Money. And I ordered maybe like six individual eyeshadows and I think three of their liquid lipstick. Really excited about that because people have talked about Colourpop for the longest time and I thought I'm just going to bite the bullet and order some stuff. So that will be another video coming up. But highlighters, I'm just trying to find more that are not really, really, you know, like Instagram highlighters. As we get older, I mean, you know, like when I, when I do this and you've got this kind of crow's feet situation going on, I don't want a highlighter that's going to settle into all of those lines. It's just not pretty. I want something that is flattering. I want to say age appropriate, but really that is just flattering is what I mean. I want something that just looks nice and doesn't look like I've got something holographic on my cheeks. I know that people love it at the moment. I get it. The big, big, bold brown, the very, very heavy and dramatic makeup is so in. 
but it's not realistic for me. I want to wear stuff that actually looks nice. Um, and so I'm going to try and find some more alternatives to um, the dim light. I'm going to revisit the Freedom powder that I used to love and see whether or not it really does... Um, in fact, there's this one from Makeup Obsession as well that they did. I'm going to just do some little... Not complications, what I mean, comparisons. Words evade me today. Evade. <laughs> I feel like all the words are terrible. Um, this is the Velvet Lip Glide in Bound from NARS. I mentioned this in... I did a get ready with me and I did a haul while we were in Vegas. I was feeling super productive that day. And so you'll be sick of me talking about the same products in every video recently, but I really, really love this. I have hardly used any lip product but this since I bought it. And wearing it today, it is, let's see if I can make it a bit bolder. It's just kind of like, I'd like to do a comparison, but I think it's like a liquid version of MAC Faux. I think I'm like really shiny right now. Too much highlight, obviously. Um, but it's so natural and it's it, just a little bit of something without making it look like really, really dressed up. I've been wearing this so much, depending on, not even depending on, um, what do I mean? Regardless of what kind of eye makeup I've got on, I can wear this because it's just almost the colour of my lips, which is why I like MAC Faux so much. Um, just kind of a little bit polished, but that's another thing. This eye makeup that I've gotten today, which by the way is a morph palette, this is all going to be in a haul. When my Colourpop stuff comes, I'm going to have a monster haul. I may even do it live. I bought this morph palette. Uh, I forget what this is called. It says 12NB, 12 natural something. Um, I bought that the other day and um, that's what I'm wearing my eyes today, but very, very, like a, a much more neutral, natural, subtle kind of look. Um, I feel like with the darker hair, I'm going to need to go a little bit darker with my eyes now. This is actually the first time, I didn't put any makeup on yesterday because I wasn't really doing anything. Uh, I just took my little football. But I, I'm going to have to wear makeup a little bit more often until it fades a little bit. Uh, I did notice that, it, I mean it is a bit more of a stark contrast against my skin tone. Um, but then at the same time, with dark hair, I've always thought it's a bit more interesting to put makeup on. I don't know. It'll probably fade out pretty quickly, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really love this. This was bound. Um, not at all what I would consider to be a velvet lip glide. Not matte in any way, shape or form. So if you're into matte and that is all you want, you won't You won't like this. This is more like... It's like a lip gloss um, that dries down pretty quickly to like a satin at best. Never a matte, never smudge proof. Not what I would consider to be velvet. So that's just one thing to get out there. Um, along with the Morph palette, I also bought this and I wanted to mention it because I used it today and I feel like it's going to revolutionise the way that I do eyeliner because I have wanted a different way of doing eyeliner um, that is not liquid liner for the longest time. And I was watching, this is so weird, this is like, this gives away my internet habits completely, but I was watching Nina Debrev, who is um, Elena on The Vampire Diaries, and I was watching, I was looking for something on her on her Instagram. And she did this thing where she did a makeup in a minute and she used one of these brushes and she used, obviously she had eyelash extensions, so no mascara. It was like straight into a powder and then she did this thing where she kind of smudged it out and I thought, that is the brush that I need. That is the brush that I've been waiting for. It's been just waiting to be found and then I'd be like, yes, that is exactly what I need to either do like a gel or like a smudgy eyeshadow along my lash line. And I did it today, only slight with a very dark brown and I loved it. This is the Morph M217. Loved. You'll be hearing more about that from me, I know. Uh, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about, I'm keeping it short and sweet because I want to get to the comments in a second. Um, last thing I want to talk about is I have been told that this has been seen, it is online, and this has been seen in stores. This is the Instant Age Rewind. It says new on it. That's how long I've had it. I don't even want to tell you how long I've had this, but it's been... <laughs> I've, I've suddenly started using it loads. Now I know I can get it. Age Rewind, um, and this is the, says it on the other side, Eraser Dark Circles, the pink treatment concealer. This is the brightener, not the regular concealer, not the light, the medium, the whatever. This is the brightener, the very pale pink. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I have not found another one at the drugstore, you know, Boots, Superdrug, etc. Haven't found another one that I like as much as this. Haven't tried the MAC one yet, the um, something rose, I forget the name. Because um, I wanted to compare what it was like to compared to this as a UK thing that you could get a little bit easier um, But now this has come to the drugstore in the UK. What's the point? This is so so good. Very very thin 
um, consistency, not too heavy or thick at all. I just use it here. I don't really like to put any concealer around the outside of my eyes because that's where I do have some fine lines. Here it's not such a big deal, um, but I just, that's the only concealer I use, just brighten up that inner corner. Um, and this works amazingly. So that is it. That's everything that I wanted to talk about product wise. Now, let's get into the comments if I can remember where they are. Can I find them now? What are the chances that I've lost them? They kept coming up. Oh, oh, there we are. Okay. I found my pen. Okay, found them, I found them, I found them. Let's, let's just bring you down here so I can actually not slam the iPad down. Right, so starting right from the top. Rachel, I'm fine, thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, thank you to everyone who says my hair looks nice. I've been trying to ignore the comments because if you, um, if you kind of, it takes you away and then it's all over the place. Uh, so I haven't really been responding to very much. New hair colour looks great. Thank you so much. I really am liking it. For those of you that have only joined us kind of midway through, this is the Castings Light Brown. Yes, it's not light brown at all. Um, but I kind of knew... Oh, I've lost the comments again. Where do they... Where do I get them from? Um, yeah, I don't... I don't... Oh, there it is. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not very light, but if you are using kind of a temporary colour at all, it's always a good idea to choose something that you wanted... A little bit, um, choose one that's, that's lighter than you actually want because it always comes out darker. Um, I don't know if I responded, but the shirt that I'm wearing, the I Am Woman shirt, comes from ASOS. And I only just got it as well. Have you tried rose hip oil as a moisturiser? It's amazing. I haven't. I always feel with oils that I, I don't always need an oil because my skin is quite oily. But I would be interested in putting an oil kind of somewhere in the areas where I feel like I am a little bit dehydrated. I also need to drink way more water than I do. I uh, wouldn't have known you were filming on an iPad. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so glad several people have mentioned the quality. That's really good. Um, I'll definitely be hitting Sephora when I'm in NYC in August after your haul video. Um, if I'd seen that, that in Sephora. Yeah, all the minis. If ever I'm in Sephora, the minis are where I want to go. Um, what do you use to live stream on your iPad to YouTube? I just use YouTube, the YouTube app. You can, you stream, blah, 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 blah. you stream that way. Uh, is the Soap and Glory highlight powder similar to any of the Hourglass powders? Oh, I, I think I have that, or I used to have that. I'll look it up. Uh, oh, in fact, a couple of people have mentioned that. Um, how lasting is bound? Not fantastically lasting. I would say you could probably get an hour or two, but the colour that this is, I tend to, I have products like this and they're like this kind of mauve natural colour and I'll go, oh my God, but it's so amazing and it lasts so well. And I think the real reason is because it's such a neutral or natural to me colour, I don't notice so much when it fades. And so I'm not really giving it the best test. You know, like if I'd got exactly the same product, let me just see if I can pop this back up again. Um, if I'd got exactly the same product, but it was bright red, I may not be as in love with it because this is a really easy to wear color and I can top it up and it doesn't really, it, it wears quite nicely, uh, but it doesn't last a really long time. Oh, I've lost the comments again. Oh, I swear, I'm like an old person. You know, like, oh, show chat, show chat, there it is. You know, um, when you try and explain something to your parents and like a technological thing and they don't get it. I feel like that already. I feel like the oldest person. Um, love the glow all out powder, similar to hourglass. That must be the, the soap and glory one. I'm going to totally have to try that. Um, oh yes. I thought the same thing. Someone said, um, Nikki said it makes my hair look longer. I think it makes it look thicker when I have it all one colour. That's always what I found in the past. Um, have you managed to get your hands on the Tarte Shape Concealer? Shape Tape Concealer? No, I haven't even heard of it. Um, comparing myself. Is this the new iPad you were talking about? Yes, it is the new iPad I was talking about. Hang on. Wait a second. There we go. We can block the guy that's constantly uh, messaging the same thing. It's kind of distracting, right? Um, right, what was I saying? The iPad, the iPad. So I um, did like a little unboxing this morning on Instagram 
uh, or on the Insta story, on the Insta stories. Oh my God, I'm a thousand years old. On the Insta stories. Um, yeah, if I'd, if I'd seen the comments earlier, I, I would have blocked him. Um, yeah, I, I unboxed the iPad because I was so, so excited. And then most of this morning I've been drawing and doodling on things. It's kind of a bit ridiculous, I know. Um, but I, it's completely taken me back to my childhood. I absolutely loved drawing as a kid and all I wanted was one of those drawing tablets. If you remember, well you probably won't, it's such a weird niche thing to have wanted as a child. It was for like graphic designers and stuff. I so wanted a drawing tablet and um, the iPad Pro with the pencil is basically, I miss Massimo already. <laughs> I miss Massimo too. Um, that's just like an inside joke from the comments for those of you watching this later on. Um, yeah, it, it is just the technology my teenage self has been waiting for for like, oh my God, 15 years or so. More than that, probably 20 years. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. The iPad Pro on its own is probably great, but it was the pencil. That's the reason. I've had an iPad mini for the longest time no interest whatsoever in um, upgrading. And as soon as I saw that you could draw and doodle and stuff on this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna need that. So expect things to be popping up all over the place where I've just randomly annotated something in my handwriting. Cause that's, it's a real gimmick that I have completely, completely big kid, but oh, I've been like, it's ridiculous. I never got into the coloring in um, fascination. I did actually, Rebecca, I did post my doodle on Instagram. Cause I was like, I can do this immediately because it's on an iPad. Oh, so cool. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I love it so much. What was I even saying then? I can't remember. No, I can't remember. Let me see if I can just get the comments back because I just saw some that I wanted to respond to. But of course I'm an old person and I don't get where they went. When I say like I've lost the comments. Do I not seem 150 years old? Show chat, show chat, where is it? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, do you have any products in your hair? No, I do not have any products in my hair. Um, this is the first time I've actually used any kind of heat tool in my hair for the longest time, but I um, I use my, what's it called? Babyliss big hair thing. Um, did you find anything that helped with your back pain a while ago? I hurt my back in my sleep yesterday and I'm in agony. The best thing that I found was called gone. I'll message you on Instagram. Um, I can't remember what it was. Solpidine. Solpidine Max was the best painkiller that I found. Um, it seems like ordinary foundations would be right up the budget beauty alley. Ordinary. What did I miss? Are you planning to find out any of the ordinary foundations? No. Well, not no, as in no I won't, but I haven't really heard of them. I've heard of ordinary skincare, but I'll, I'll take a look. Um, do you have any products in your hair? Oh, I already answered that one. How is your tattoo and are you wanting more? Tattoo is fine. I want to say fine, but do you know what? The areas where it was a cover-up, if any of you are thinking of having a cover-up, um, do you know what? You don't even bother with the Epsom salts. It did nothing for my back at all. <laughs> you know, do it if you want to, but nah. Oh no, the t-shirt sold out. I only bought it like two days ago. I'm really sorry. Um, oh my God, I have the absolute worst memory. What was I just talking about? <laughs> oh, we would say ordinary foundation. Someone please tell me what I was talking about. I have no idea. No, it's gone. Let's move on. Best dupe for double wear light foundation. Oh, my tattoo, my tattoo. See, this is why through the bulk of the video, I didn't want to get into the comments because I would, oh my God, it would take us three hours. Um, okay, so my tattoo, yeah. The area where, or the two areas where it was a cover-up have taken a really, really long time to heal. If I accidentally like put my nail over one of them, it is really still painful. So they have healed to a degree, but the, that area, those areas of skin, no, really, really sore. Um, I mean, I wouldn't want to scratch over any of it, but uh, it really was inflamed, especially over the bit at the top of my bum, my hip. The, that bit is, it is really quite sore still. I mean, I don't have any problem, you know, lying down, moving, getting dressed and stuff like that. It was, it's just if I kind of like dinged it with my nail. No, no, that wouldn't be nice. Um, 
so I, you know I would just say if you are thinking of a cover-up just realize that the recovery time is going to be considerably more than um, a regular tattoo which is still I don't regret it for a second because the tattoos that I had covered were mm, awful um, but yeah what's with the weird comments yeah apparently that's normal with um, YouTube live I don't know uh, yeah, so that is it. I'm going to wrap it up now. I want to do more of these YouTube lives. Let me know if you would like to see them. I am feeling with YouTube that everything's a bit blah. Um, no one's really super interested in YouTube right now. Whether or not it just be, you know, you know, because YouTube are kind of filtering things so that you see some things, you don't see other things. For me, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit disheartened when it comes to taking a long time to film and edit a video and then not really feeling that same engagement that I'm used to seeing, you know, a certain amount of people watching or a certain amount of people um, commenting. It's not, I don't know, it's not encouraging, I suppose. Um, whereas when we do a YouTube live like this, I've got the engagement right in front of me and I can see that even if there were only five of you, I could see that those five of you would be interacting and that is what you miss with YouTube um, for me. That's why I love Twitter, that's why I love Instagram because you will post something and you get immediate engagement, immediate interaction. Uh, and yeah, no, I, I agree about Insta stories. I don't really watch Insta stories myself, um, which is probably part of the reason as to why I don't really upload them very often. Because um, it, it's just something that you have to remember because it's because it doesn't stay there. I would watch Insta stories if they stayed there for longer than a day. So the thing with YouTube Live is after the fact, it's there forever. Um, which appeals to me more than Insta stories. And I get why with Insta stories. It's just that's that kind of, I don't know. If it's something really good on Insta stories, I'll probably put it on my regular um, Instagram. But yeah, anyway, that's kind of how I'm feeling about YouTube at the moment. A bit blah, not particularly motivated to upload stuff, but I still want to get out and talk to you guys. So I may start doing a weekly live YouTube instead of my regular videos um, until things resolve or until I feel differently. We'll see. I'm quite enjoying this setup. So yeah, we'll see how many of you actually um, come to what my at on Twitter. It's Mikaela McDade, same as my YouTube. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, wrapping it up because this is like... <laughs> This is my ramble now. Right, so I will see you guys next time. Um, and oh my God, don't even get me started on Pretty Little Lies. I haven't watched today's episode. Maybe I'll go and do that now. Ooh, we could start doing a whole, we could do like Kai Flicks, live Kai Flicks on my other channel. We could do that, okay. We could do Pretty Little Lies live. We could watch it together. How do we feel about that for the final episode? We could watch it via Netflix together at like 10 o'clock on a Wednesday morning or lunchtime, lunchtime we could do. Let me know could do that okay uh let's see how quickly i can do this i think i think i can quite seamlessly end this video now because it's always really awkward so apologies to any of you that i haven't got to talk to but we will do this again next week and i'll see you guys then